say something, man, to the rapper. Because he threw my name in a conversation that I didn't have nothing to say. Somebody else brought it up and went to him and tagged him and said, you stole my name. And then he had the audacity to call me a snitch. A snitch. I testified against 35 police officers who handcuffed black men and women like me and you, planted drugs on them, stole their money, lied in court, fake search warrants, and got on the witness stand. Y'all saw one of them, one of them was in the documentary. He told a little bit about mm-hmm. what they do. But I'm gonna bring the whole story for it because I'm gonna do the TV series. But back to do. If you say anything else about me again, I'm gonna expose your ass. See, I had them pictures before 50 Cent had them. I just didn't bust you out. I just be quiet, kept my mouth shut. And say, you know what, let him do what he do. But I'm telling you, if you do say anything else about me, I'm going in on you. I'm going to show you the research that I've done. People might get to see some of the paperwork from court, too. Because I still got them papers. Yeah, you're right. I'm the real one. I don't salute the fake ones. Everybody else do. They buy his shit, go to his concerts. Listen to his music. Listen to him lie to him about how much dope he sold. What time did he ever have to sell dope? Yeah. He was a correctional officer at 19. <laughs> He the biggest boss that we've seen thus far. <laughs> well, what Snowfall did is they tried to change a lot of stuff up. And I just went through the lawsuit with the rapper, so... I didn't feel like tying up all that time and energy and money. And so I had to make a choice. Do I want to chase my dreams? Or do I want to go back through another long, thrown-out lawsuit that I really don't have enough money? to win or even to fight. That's what I was up against. Mm-hmm, I agree, I agree. But I won't be doing it right until you all come on board. Till you guys start helping me out. Till we win. That's when I'll be doing it right. A lot of people try to get us to do right, but we still do wrong. But I could use some help. You know, I'm short on money. Yeah. You know, in this building, I don't have enough money to build it. Hey! How you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm good. Salute to you, King. Uh, thank you, thank you. Salute to you too, Queen. Yes, and um, you know what? I'm always so with the artist. Fight for what you believe in. For and sure. And you know what? I, I don't like Rick Ross, the fat, ugly dude. Yeah. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've been listening to your music ever since the 80s and the 90s. And, you know, when I heard that Rick Ross stole your name, I was like, you know what? Everybody need to go ahead and sue the shit out of me. Just sue so, so what you, you know, fight for your name. Yeah. Because you, you know, you are a pioneer, and a lot of people don't recognize that, you know, especially these younger generations, so I salute to you. And, yes, I am the young lady that said, can you please, please, please come to my podcast, and you could talk about it. I don't want to bash this, excuse my French, I don't know if I can use the word in, but... Let's bash this end out. You know, I, I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to take him out. You know, yeah. 50 Cent, he tried it, but I don't think him to see it. No. Oh, thank you for the birthday wish, guys. Well, you know, 50 didn't, didn't, didn't have this stuff all the way together. 
you know, when, when you get ready to go to war, you got to get all your resources and line them up before you exactly. go to war. So, uh, I don't want to go to war with him, though. You know, I, I'd rather just, you know, I'm actually, let's, let's, let's come together because I think it would be big if me and him came together and then other young men could see it. If we can put our differences aside, then some of them would be willing to put their differences to the side. But he took that and went on the on the Breakfast Club and showed out. Told him I was. Yeah, I saw that. That was like a couple of weeks ago when he did that. And I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Yeah, yeah. You but, know? It, but, and then, but you know, I'll be like, motherfucker, how you gonna call a motherfucker a snitch? And you, uh, you got his hands tattooed. You got his name tattooed on your hands. You know, like, stop it. Will somebody stop it? Right. Will somebody say stop it? Please, that's what that means. You 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 obsessed with this man? If you got his name yeah. tattooed on your hands, you name yourself after him. You, you think that your his life his life is your life. Something is wrong. Exactly. You, you are a sick puppy. If, so, will you ever come together? Like, will you all? I'm ready tomorrow. Like, tomorrow. I have no I have no hangups. You know, right now. On my birthday, everything happens on my birthday. That's what I'm talking about. Right now, I'm, and you know, I'm living my best life. And that's what it's all supposed to be down to it, because we have to show. I'm like, this is how can we show these young people if we, us as an adult, could just go ahead and be, you know, lash it out. Shake hands on it. How come you guys cannot shake hands on it? And, you know, these younger folks, they don't know any better. Well, we could. You know? We could if he, if he, if he would, if he would allow it. It ain't, it ain't me. Cause I, like I said, I had no hang up. You know, my goal is right. to, is, is to build the people up. And whatever that takes, exactly. you know, if that means me, uh, recanting the statement that I made or, Something I said was wrong or apologizing to somebody. Whatever it takes, you know, I just want to see the people win. You know, I ain't one of those guys that want to want to, want to score 100 points and lose the game. You know, I want to win the game. Exactly. You want to beat the game. And, you know, in order for you to beat the game, have some kind of closure. And I want to say, sending you a shout-out. A friend of mine bought your book, and I told her I wanted to take the book away from her. And she was like, "No, you can't take my book. Go buy your own." So I am getting my book. You can, don't get it from don't Amazon, it. though. Get it from get it from me. I don't want it from. I, I want it straight from the man himself. All right, <laughs> all right. I'm autographing so, for you too. Thank you, sir. And you know, um, whenever you're ready, you can come on my podcast. All right. Did you I'm hit? Do yeah, did you? You got to get CC. You got to call CC. CC. Yeah, she can set. Okay. She sets up. You, you got her number. Should be on my thing. Okay, I sure will talk to her today. Yeah, set it up, and then I, I tell her we want to do it. Sure, we can do it. And salute King. Even and though I'm taking people. a break, you know I'm taking a break right now because of the pandemic, but I'm still gonna do yours. Okay, thank Promise. you, sir. All right, you be good. All right. Where you from? You too. Where you from? I'm from the south side of Chicago. Oh, CC from Chicago too. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's yeah. do it. Set, set, set it up. Set it up with it. Rick Ross went on the Breakfast Club and pissed off Freeway Rick Ross with his disrespectful tone, being this fake artist. That he is. This dude has manipulated his way into getting all of these riches and all of these opportunities because he came up playing the role. Now, this is a complete artist. That's all he is. He's a rapper. He's a rapper slash scumbag. And he knows he's a scumbag. But, hey, to each his own. Freeway Rick Ross is willing to work with this man. But this man can't do that. He can't see himself being attached. He can't see himself being attached to anyone. 
that whose name he stole it because he know if he's sitting with Freeway Rick Ross, he would piss on himself. He was shaking his boots and he know that make him look obsolete and make him look weak. And he all about an image. See, you could be somebody. If the person you pretending to be, you can't stand next to the person you pretending to be. Because then they're going to see the real person and then the fake. He don't want that. He don't want y'all to see that. He ain't going to come together. He ain't going to try to help the brother. He ain't going to try to do nothing. He want him to be out the way. That's the only way this man operates. Now, the way he evolved into business and made all these moves, I could see people saying, wow, you know, that's a, you know, that's some good moves. He made some real good business decisions. I could see them saying that. I have no problem with them saying that. But these doors is open because he got other people eating off him. He got Jay-Z eating off him, Puffy eating off his fat back, everybody getting a slice. So he ain't making no money in rap. He don't sell no records. He keep putting out albums that don't do shit. So y'all sitting over there acting like, oh, he's the biggest boss thus far. He got this big expensive mansion that he got to keep paying on. So that's why he got to keep going to these advertisements and signing up for these companies so they can keep paying that mortgage. But that's what he do. That's Ricky Rose. I'm the biggest boss that you've seen thus far. Another day in the life of the whack ass boss. <laughs> Dude, make the most ridiculous songs I've ever heard in my life. Hey, but yo, it's because of 50 Cent. You just take it up because of 50 Cent. Because of 50 Cent. No, I'm taking it up because I hear what he is. Everybody, man, what about them Drake collabos? Right, the song be great without him on it. Cut Rick Ross off and the song is a hit. Whoop, got a new mother, 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 lean, whoop. Still tried to pretend to be Biggie and y'all let that pass. Y'all got mad at Shine. For trying to sound like big. But y'all gonna let this guy rock. Really? Wow. I'm Big Meech. Larry Hoover. I mean, dude, he should have been smacked up for that song right there. Always name dropping somebody. You not Big Meech. You're not Larry Hoover. You're none of them. They stood for something. They was trying to really do something. You said, I want to be a cop. That's what you chose to do. You chose to say, I want to be a cop. And nobody stood in your way. So you go be that cop. You go walk your beat. <laughs> but you the one sat there and lied about it when they brought it to your attention. Was you a correctional officer? He said that. No, man, that ain't me. <laughs> I'll be like why you say no that wasn't you when they showing you a big fat stanky eight sandwiches eaten <laughs> and two minutes self in that tight old officer outfit shaking the hand <laughs> taking the oath then breaking it I'm telling you man people talk you know
That was you. <laughs> Ricky Rose. I never liked him. Never liked Ricky Rose. Now, I did like the hustling song. But that was it. Every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Every day, every day, every day. I'm like that. I really like the beat. <laughs> Other than that, he can go to hell. This dude jumping off bridges, trying to be Biggie, trying to do the hypnotize video. I'm like, Biggie ain't jump off no damn cliff. Like, show me a video where Biggie jumped off the damn bridge. This big fat, we take it over. He jumping off the bridge. <laughs> Yo, big 300 pound Sasquatch. Look at this. <laughs> you got all Cali messed up in the game. Talking about man, I'm mad at Birdman, man. How you do it, my boy Wayne? Got my boy Wayne all messed up. I guess they just moved in. Oh, damn. Well, it's too late for me to buy the crib. Somebody done bought the damn house and moved in already. God damn. That was quick. coming over here being friendly. I don't need that. Hi, right, I'm Fred. She's my wife, Vilma, and, you know, Tuesday night we're doing I'm Not Interested. Slam. <laughs> I don't need no new friend. <laughs> I know that's cold, but damn. <laughs> hey, it's got to be said, shoot. I don't need no new friends. <laughs> No new friends. No friends in the industry. <laughs> so, anyway, God bless all of you. Thank you guys who've been hitting the like button and supporting the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you. Definitely hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the page. Hit the notification bell. That should be down there. If you new here. And definitely, definitely, my cash app is Carcino. If you want to donate after the video ends and you didn't get a chance to super chat, you can use the cash app and do it that way. And I'm going to continue walking around the house because that's what I do. Walk, 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 walk. I'm an active person. I'm actually running behind today. I've been sluggish. I need to get some work done. My to-do list is... Small, but need to be done. I've done most of the stuff off here already, so. I'll call my dad, mom. Still got to call Sandra. And I got to call Sean right now, so I can take that right off the list. All right. I'm out. Deuces. <laughs>